Hi there, this is Noah Newman, Kokora's Education and Outreach Coordinator, and today I'm going to show you some of the new features that we've added to our interactive map. Some of them over the last couple of months, but some of them also through this major release today, February 22nd, 2021. This is all thanks to your feedback. If you click on this button in the upper right corner and fill out the form, we listen, and many of the features that we're releasing today are thanks to your feedback. Most of the things I'm going to talk about in this short video today are related to the Map Options window, but I do want to highlight this button here, which has always been here, called Zoom to a Specific Area. And when you turn it on and draw a box to zoom to a specific area, this is a feature where this button used to stay on once you turned it on. And so after you zoomed, it would stay on and it would try to draw another box. But now it's, it, it deactivates after you've made your, your initial selection and you can now carry on with zooming and panning or changing your options without having to turn off that, that button. At any point, you can update the map, refreshing it by clicking on the words Kokoraz Mapping System or the logo in the upper left corner. I'm going to go over in a little bit more detail the uh, toggle buttons, but they are here as well, and I'll show those to you in a second. But the first thing I want to talk about in the Map Options window is the Auto Close versus Keep Open option. So if you click on Keep Open, now, and you'll see throughout this demonstration, if you change options and update the map, your map options window is actually going to stay open while you change uh, maps and do different things. You can keep this map options open. The next thing I'm going to show you is this set default view button. And so let's say you live in Omaha, Nebraska. And every day you zoom into Omaha and you like to look at the map and this is your exact level that you like to, to look at, at it right here. Well now you can click on set default view and once you've done that now as you change the map and you're moving around you're looking at other things if you reset the map now it's going to default back to your favorite view and this is also the case that if you're back on the home page, you've maybe left the Kokoraz interactive map entirely, the next time you view the map, it's going to go right back to your favorite uh, view that you set to default. If you want it to forget that default view, you can click on reset and it'll forget that, that view and you can set it to something different. We've also added a function of drop-down menu to zoom to uh, your country, state, or county. So once you select a country, you can select a state and county, and that's a nice new feature that we've added. I already briefly mentioned these toggle buttons. Before, you had to open up the calendar to change the date, and now you can use these up and down buttons to change the date one day at a time, and you can select your date this way, which is... Uh, easier for some people. Throughout the history of Kokoraz, we have always only mapped data that was observed between 4.30 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. I'll remind everyone that you can enter your data anytime throughout the day, but we're only mapping data where you actually looked at your gauge and observed it at, within this window of, of time. But now with this, these slider bars, you can change that and say you're an observer who enters your data every day at 10 p.m., you can change this slider bar and you can actually see your dot on the map now. The last thing I'm going to show you is the slider bars for the current zoom level as well as the level at which the, the labels are displayed. It's always been a case, and still is, that you can zoom in and out with the plus and minus buttons or the mouse uh, scroller bar. But now you can also change the default, or I'm sorry, change your zoom level using the slider bar here. But we also have now added an option to choose the level at which you want the 
labels to actually display. So for instance, we can see the data here, 2800s, 4500s, and some at, there's times when you might not want that la those labels to display. And so you can change those settings to not display the data until you're zoomed in at the level at which you've set the, the data to display. That is all I'm going to show you. Um, I will remind you about the help, but also the feedback buttons up here. If you fill out the form, we love to hear your feedback. So thanks so much for being a volunteer, and we appreciate you being part of the network.